Defenderforest.com. Now, but, um, so I'm going to give you a mod guide today. I am going to increase the spring, relube it, and take out all the air restrictors in this turret, and it should be fun. I'll open this blaster, um, up. You want to take out all your Phillips head screwdrivers, um, and in the top right here, there's some different set of screws, so keep, um, keep up with those. Um, I'll show you guys when I get this open. All right, I have opened the dark tag hyperfire, and as you can see, um, it looks, the catch is much different than most standard catches, and that's because the plunger rod is bent up, and that's not a good sign for good spring upgrades, but we will try, and it has a double stage trigger. Um, the double stage trigger is just a good enough, so that way you can be able to rotate your, your, uh, turret on the edge. So, the first mod I will do is taking out these air restrictors, so, um, I'll pause to until, um, and tell you guys what you need to do. Alright, I figured out um, how you're going to get these air restrictors out. There are one, two, three, four, five screw ports that you will need to unscrew in order to be able to get this black half off in order to be able to get your air restrictors. So I'm going to unscrew those um, right now. Uh, let me find my screwdriver. Right here, I have my screwdriver. Um, Actually, I'll cut to the segment and unscrew these so I can unscrew them easier for you, and I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and once you get your air restrictors, they should look like this. An air restrictor it has an air restrictor spring, which is right here, and the air restrictor itself. So this is what um, compresses the dart down and allows the air to flow. Without the dart, it will dry fire, and you, once you take out these air restrictors, I re recommend that you do not dry fire blaster or release, um, through, take away the life of your blaster. Um, so I recommend that you do not dry fire when you take these air restrictors out. You can go ahead and push these to the side because you will no longer need them. It's just going to make your blaster weak. And now you are up to your posts. So what you're going to need is for this next part is you're going to need some needle nose pliers. Um, actually I have no in the world nowhere in the world where mine so I'm just gonna use some uh, bolt cutters and you're gonna cut these um, pegs off and as you see these little pieces right there these three pieces let me grab a little air restrictor here if you see these pieces right here and you set them over there they'll, they'll, you want to delete that so that way the air restrictor won't even be able to fit in there anymore so you want to take off that whole area and I'm gonna do these to all of these and I'm gonna show you what they look like when I get back all right, I'm back, but um, you can indeed uh, cut out the rest of this to make a clear shot through, but it's a pretty high risk modification, but um, I'm going to do it anyways, but if you don't want to do this modification, you'll still get decent performance. You're not even going to, you're only going to get like two or three feet better out of your blaster if you cut this out anyways. It's not really even going to do anything, so if you don't want to take the risk of cutting it out and damaging your blaster, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, but if you are going to do it, I recommend you either get some middle-nose pliers or get a drill or a Dremel and get that all out. So um, I'm going to put the cylinder back together, which is right here with all the stuff. And I will be showing you the spring upgrade on this. So I'll be back. Well, I've screwed back in the, uh, the turret. Um, I've ran into one problem. Pledger head solid. Um... So I'm going to figure out how to get the spring off, um, but if I don't do a spring upgrade, you can always twist off the spring, and this thing will still get good, uh, good power without you, uh, doing the, you know, little upgrade, so, um, stay tuned. Oh my god. Alright. I finally got the spring combination on there. I don't even know what type of spring I'll use. I'll put it in the description below, but, oh my gosh, it took... For you guys, it was only a second, but for me, it took like 20 minutes for me to get the spring on. <sighs> I'm going to put this thing back together, and I'll show you the internals, um, and then I'll close it up and give you guys a firing. All right, I'm just giving you a final segment of the blaster, but this took a while to get the spring on, but the turret is back in place. I have all the blasting components in catch, catch spring, trigger, catch release. All that other 
good stuff to make the blaster work. And, um, so, yeah, I will be putting this blaster back together and giving you guys my final thoughts. Alright, I'm back, and so this is basically my dart tag hyperfire. My thoughts on it, um, I'll show you a dart firing right now. I just loaded in an elite dart right here, but I'll fire it right off, right over here. So that way you, actually I'll fire it over here so that way in more light, you guys, can, you guys can see it a little bit better. It is hitting hard. As you can see from that shot, this thing is hitting really hard. Um, do I recommend you do this mod? Yes. I do recommend you guys do this mod. I think the spring I put in here was either a double strike spring or it was um, a tech one of the tech springs. So if you go down to any thrift store, you're likely to find like a tech 6, tech 4, tech 3. Those have good springs. You can just put them in here. Um, prefer tech 6 springs, but yeah, that's the video. And have a good day. And peace out, brother.